You know, January and February was really more of the same. I mean, it was really a, a, a dim outlook at that particular moment. We weren't seeing the sales any better. And then the freeze happened and, you know, ice cream being seasonal. You know, we couldn't have trucks on the road. Like it was just really dangerous situation. And a lot of our employees didn't have power. So, you know, just the impact of the freeze, I think really shut us down. So January and February were really not good months. And I was getting worried like, oh man, 2021 is worse than 2020. So, and then, you know, basically March, you know, when people started getting vaccinated and, um, you know, most of our staff is vaccinated here. I mean, it was like a, someone just flipped the switch and all of a sudden, like things went from like zero to a hundred instantly. And we just were was so busy. Like we didn't, you know, we didn't even prepare for that. I mean, it was great, nothing to complain about. So we were, we were slammed, but March and April, you know, was back to, you know, 2019 numbers. We were starting to see you know, revenue compared to that. So it was, it's been great. And I think right now we're, you know, seeing that things are really, you know, coming back to normal. People are even starting to book events again, our special events. So that's, that's been a really a key piece that picked up probably late April. Also, you know, we're continuing to wear masks because we have a lot of, you know, contact with the customer where we're serving them, you know, ice cream. So we will continue to be masked. We also have like a pl uh, plastic shield for our Sunday parties. You know, if people want that, they can request it. It's not standard right now, but it was. And so, you know, we just we have that option for the individuals that really want something like that. You know, I think we were forced to look at the vulnerabilities in our business more than anything. Like we, we had to look at how could we diversify sales? You know, what, what are the channels that we can deviate and really look at? Like, how can we still be in business? How can we make money? How can we do this safely? So there's just really a lot of out of the box ideas that, you know, came about. We started doing novelty kits locally on, and we're going to continue to keep that as well. But I think more than anything, it's just looking at the business and how can we pandemic proof our business. You know, we always thought, hey, how can we, you know, recession proof our business? Now it's, oh gosh, how do we not only recession proof, but pandemic proof. We don't want something to come that's gonna knock us out. We, we work really hard for this business and, you know, it's very important to the local community. So, you know, we just have to be on our toes and always looking to pivot to what can we do um, differently that's going to protect us? I feel that schools are going to come back really strong. The kids, they need it. They need to be with their friends again. They need to, and ice cream is a great way to celebrate with their friends, you know, being back together. And, you know, our events are coming back really well. I, I couldn't be happier right now. Obviously, we're a little overwhelmed because it, we're in peak season and we're really busy, but those are good problems to have.